What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for your iPhone 14 series, and this is the 14 Pro. This is an awesome screen protector. I put these on all of my devices. Now it might seem like it's a little bit complex, but I promise you it's not, so just follow along with my video and you'll do just fine. Take your time with it, no rush, no prize for finishing first. It's all about getting that perfect installation. And the best thing about this is you're curing it with the UV light, so you're gonna get a very, very nice bond with your phone screen and the tempered glass from Whitestone Dome. Prices always change. Check my link down below, especially now around the holiday season. Save a little bit of coin with my link. Let's check out this installation video and see what the Whitestone Dome is all about. This is full filling, full coverage, full clarity, full responsiveness. Again, this is a premium screen protector from Whitestone Dome and these guys definitely know what they're doing. So let's take a look at the install process and see what we get inside here. Now again, there's a lot of parts to this, but it's, it's really not that complicated. I promise you guys, the jig that they provide makes it really, really easy. Taking a look at everything that you get inside of the box, here's your UV light for the curing process. You also do get some necessary pads and alcohol wipes and everything in here. You also do have a very important speaker cover cover sticker which I'm going to go through once again do not skip any of these steps here's your tape that I'm going to show you what to do with and then of course here's your tempered glass so we're going to put this on our iPhone 14 Pro and two vials of glue just in case you just in case you need to redo it the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and get your get your black masking tape and cover all the ports on your iPhone you don't want any glue going into any of these ports so let's go ahead and do that together let's get one of these stickers here and just kind of cover up the power button on this side. When you're putting the masking tape on your phone, it doesn't have to look pretty, but just make sure that the tape does not go over onto your screen because then the glue is not gonna be able to do its thing. But the most important thing with these, with the masking tape is to cover up all of those ports. We don't need glue going into the speaker or, or into the lightning port. That would just be a no-no if you will. Now that you've gone ahead and masked all of the sides and the tops and whatnot, just again, place your finger over the tape to ensure that you do have a nice bond with this tape. You want this to be as secure as possible. Just again, we don't need any glue going on the inside there. Now that you have all the sides taped up, go ahead and place your phone into the jig and press on it just to make sure that you do get a, you do get a nice connection there. Now what we need to do, which is very important, Clean off your device, make sure you get any dust and any, any particle off of your screen. Let's get one of these alcohol cleaning pads and clean off our device. Make sure it's really, really clean. Get one of the microfiber cleaning cloths and clean this off. Now if you see any dust, get one of these dust stickers, but I'm just gonna keep that to the side because I might see one a bit later on in this process. Now what we need to do is go ahead and cover up our speaker. Once again, super, super important. Next, what we need to do is get our little, little pin here and place it on in just like so. This is going to hold our, our dome glass until we're ready to drop it. So just place it on into the top. The next step is to go ahead and get the bridge and just place it right at the top. So just place the bridge like this. Again, this is going to be one of your last chances to check for dust. So just go ahead and do so. Make sure there's no particle that just fell on that perfect spot right in the middle of your screen. Next, what you want to do, go ahead and get your, your glue from them. Take off the red portion first and then twist it on into place into your jig here. The glue is not going to fall out just yet. That's when you're going to release the top portion of this, of this vial. Now let's release the glue by loosening up the top, the top part of the glue. Now again, if you have a level surface, this is going to be perfect. If you don't have a level surface, ensure that the glue stays right in the center and give it, give it a couple seconds for all of the glue to come out. At this point, make sure you have your UV light ready and get your, get your dome glass ready as well. Now that we have all the glue out, remove the bridge. Just kind of give it a shake just like so. The next step is to get your dome glass. So let's go ahead and remove the, the little film and do not touch the bottom of the glass. Place it right into the center and again, let it drop. Once you drop it, it's gonna, it's gonna stay in place with this pin and then bring the glue down to the little arrows here. And once it's in the arrow, remove the pin at the same time. So I'm going to again make sure that the glue stays in the center. And once it gets to these arrows, remove the pin. Now this is the time where you want to make sure that the glue covers the entire device. So if you need to, if you need to kind of rock the jig to get the glue to go where it needs to glue, now's the time to do so. But the glue is doing its thing, so give it a little bit of time. And again, if you see it's not going in one direction, 
just kind of move the jig a little bit. Once you see that the glue has spread to the entire device, press the button on the UV light once for 15 seconds. And we're going to want to cure the top, the middle, and the bottom for 15 seconds apiece before we move on to the next step. Now that we've cured it once for 15 seconds, remove your device from the jig and clean it off. So let's just go ahead and remove that. Next, just go ahead and remove the tape from your device and then clean it. And now get your alcohol cleaning cloth and just wipe in one direction. Just give it a nice 360 wipe down. Just move it, move it like that. And then I always like to just get the microfiber cleaning cloth just to kind of dry it one more time. Now finally, the last step is to cure it 60 seconds each. So press this button twice, bottom, middle, and top. And we're gonna do that two times. So we're gonna cure the whole phone twice at 60 seconds apiece, bottom, middle, and top. So this is it guys, all installed and you can see it's a flawless installation. You can barely see that you have any tempered glass on the iPhone 14 and that's what you want. You want a nice clean installation. You don't want to, you don't want to be reminded of the fact that you have a tempered glass each and every time you turn on your phone. Touch sensitivity is as you'd expect, very very fluid, just as if you have nothing on your device at all. Dynamic Island is even more dynamic with this super clear tempered glass from Whitestone Dome. And I recommend nothing less just because these guys are professionals. They know what they're doing. They also do have a camera protector if you guys are interested in that. But let's go ahead and check out case compatibility really quickly. This is going to be a case compatible, case friendly type of screen protector. And putting on the, the case defy case, which is one of my more, more grippiest type of cases. This is going to really show us if this is case friendly. And as you can see, you do have a nice, nice little, little gap there. I'm going to call that an air gap, but it's like a case gap. So all of your cases are going to work. That being said, if you do have one of those two framed cases like an OtterBox Defender or one of the poetic maybe Revolution Guardian cases where there's a frame on top of a top of a case, that usually pulls off these screen protectors. Any screen protector you get just because the frame does rest along the screen protector and, it, and over time the more you press on it, it just kind of lifts up. So I wouldn't recommend it with that type of case. But in terms of a regular open case, if you will, definitely enough space there. You can see the bottom can see the sides really enough space so this has been a look at the whitestone dome screen protector awesome screen protector in my opinion if you're looking to protect your device for the long term go ahead and pick up one of these i'll leave the link down in my description below again this is going to ensure that you keep your device fresh and clean for the long term keep those scratches at bay thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in another video